day. From State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona, this is the NFL on EA Sports. Colt McCoy and the Arizona Cardinals taking on Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Michigan man Jake Moody to get us started and we are underway here on EA Sports and not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23 it didn't take long to see our first penalty of the game did it we always talk about everyone wanting to get into the game in a hurry the officials did as well Eric Armstead fighting his way through that time to record the sack. Didn't have the greatest field position to start, did they? And now after this sack, it's way, way worse. And right off the bat, first play of the game. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Boy, how about this to start a ball game? That's twice in a row now, Charles, that they get to it. And how often do we talk about offenses that operate off of a script to begin games? Feels like this defense had their script together on this one, and their script said put the quarterback down and do it fast. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And all the way to the 25 before he's hit and dropped. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. Third and long always tilts to the defense. And I just remember as a player how many times he's hammered into my head. Know where the sticks are and get him down in front of it. But sometimes what happens is you worry about where that is much more than the person who has the ball. And on that play, they didn't have enough focus on him. And somehow he turned a short pass into a first down. Here's McCoy. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Well, 
fell short of them returning it for a pick six. That was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. The Niners offense set to go to work, and it's last year's revelation, Brock Purdy, who leads him out in season number two from Iowa State. And you'd think as a young QB, there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's the pro bowler, Christian McCaffrey. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Tackled on the play by Cameron Thomas. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. This is Samuel. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Excellent defensive effort to get to him and provide a little contact before the catch could be made cleanly. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is indeed good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. So golden field position there squandered as they can muster only a field goal. Yeah, you were gifted a first-to-goal situation, but I have to give credit to the defense. They were brought out in a really tough situation, so give them credit for holding them to three. That's a pretty nice accomplishment. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. This taken in at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Their second drive here, the ball game, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive, and get some points of their own. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now the veteran workhorse, here's James Conner. Nick Bosa, Defensive Player of the Year, in on the tackle. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. From the 34-yard line, here's second and five. Off play action. McCoy, rush coming, and he's taken down. Slipping into the backfield for the sack was Oren Burks. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Third down and 13. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Connor. 
And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. Ray Ray McLeod deep here for the Niners. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Here's Samuel. Room here to run. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow. And he didn't on that play. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. The drive will start with an option going left. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Try to run with McCaffrey. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets them down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Again, McCaffrey, and across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from two yards out, and they are able to add on to their advantage. But just power football there, down near the goal line. Give it to him, he's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible, but all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Jake Moody now for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So that drive, four plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. On the return, Rondell Moore will bring it out. 
And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, <laughs> two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. They start the drive with Connor, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the 31, McCoy. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball, but I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can, and that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. On first and 10 is Connor. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? From just shy of midfield, here's second and four. Operating from the gun, McCoy. He'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 34-yard line. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Back to throw, McCoy. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. Now second and five. Operating from the gun, McCoy. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there's no way that ball was going to be caught. Play number seven now coming up on the drive, third and five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. Again, he'll drop to throw. This will be caught once again by Brown. 
And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16, and another first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now, it's paying off a big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll look to throw again. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Rondell Moore, a five-yard touchdown. And the Cardinals are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room? This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed, and a lot of football, a full half to be played. Crater for the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Taken at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead should they so choose. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. Now Purdy. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw, Purdy. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Here's second and ten. Out of the gun, Purdy. 
thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. Certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering. And now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. Well, the Cardinal offense is going to take over late in this first half. And now they start in plus territory following that turnover as they'll try to get some points here before halftime. Throwing to start the drive. McCoy, he's got his target. That's Zach Pascal. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. McCoy over the middle here to Brown. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. They throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways call this penalties. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Operating from the gun, McCoy. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Back to throw. McCoy. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. This from 36 yards out. Prater's kick is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And we will likely not see another play here as they take the knee and head into the intermission all tied. 
So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, Let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. Okay, Coach. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us certainly am i'm with you on that one and we all know a lot of coaches from the nfl all the way down to the peewee level they love to spin it to their teams hey we're starting a brand new shorter ball game it's all even let's go out and seize it this is ours starting the second half with a run by mccaffrey and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now Samuel. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down at 12. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Purdy now to throw. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Buying time to his left. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Oh, 
And they'll accept that penalty. Looking to throw. McCoy. That pass completed to Dorch. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that will bring up second down. to throw. McCoy, he'll get this to Connor underneath, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. On first and 10. McCoy over the middle complete. It's Connor. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. But with his size coming out of the backfield, usually takes more than an arm tackle to get him down. That's why they like to get him involved in the passing game. No doubt about it. You saw him running that angle route there and catching the ball. And with his size, not often thought to have hands. But we're hearing that more and more. Guys are doing a better job of catching the ball at any size. And the Niners get there and bring him down. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. They'll come up now, third and nine. Looking to throw, McCoy. And complete to Zach Ertz. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here, as this is toward the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. 
But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And they run the option on second down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. So third down, but you got to think they'd like to get closer, even in a dome with good kicking conditions for a possible field goal. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 16. But forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Offensive line wasn't set. There's the flag, and five yards back they go. Quarterback has to look around and make sure that his team is ready to go. Sometimes the quarterbacks go faster than is necessary. Full start, backs him up five, first and 15. McCaffrey following the penalty. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Zayvon Collins there to make the play defensively. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Still 15 yards to go, second down. McCaffrey running up the middle, and this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He just hold the line, he provided some push, and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Here's Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? Oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. 
Now first and goal. McCaffrey is in. Touchdown, 49ers. And this is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So that drive in total, eight plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. All eyes on the Cardinals now. Down by seven, a minute 50 to play. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. Now McCoy. Screen pass to Connor. Broke a tackle, but not much room there. Just up past the 25, no further. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. Back to throw. His throw incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. They'll come to the line now on a third and six. He'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Here we go. This is fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. A fourth down, they felt compelled to go for it, and he throws the INT. Yeah, he knows that you can't take a sack there, so he had to try and force one in. Now, this might not be a throw he makes if we're in the second quarter, but he had to take the chance there, and this one wound up being intercepted. Now San Francisco's offense returns to the field, and this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are.
So first and 10 now from the 30. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. take a knee at a previous stop tell me you get a win on the road doesn't matter the opponent get out of there like you stole something and they, <laughs> they did in this one so the victory here for San Francisco and it was their defense that really made the statement after the break they pitched the second half shutout yeah think about the team that just got vanquished they did score in the second quarter do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half, the adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert. <laughs>